back to my youtube channel my name is bola harrison and as always thank you for watching liking my videos leaving your comments and thank you for subscribing so in today's video i'll be talking about check visa interview questions and how to answer them the visa interview is really important like really important because aside from having the complete money in your bank account having the correct document what you say matters because everything you say you know when you say everything you say can and be used against you in the court of law everything you say to the consular can and will be used against you or for you by the ministry of interior in czech republic yeah so whatever you say however you say is typed by the consular during your interview process and sent to the ministry of interior in czech so when you get to the embassy number one thing please always make sure you are punctual because when you go early it gives you time to relax your nerves calm yourself get your document in place and you know just to double check again and be sure you are safe an official will come to attend to you by collecting all the documents you brought with you your um, appointment slip which i don't think you need to a large extent um your application form if, if you did not feel some things there you can ask the official he or she will guide you through but your visa application form two passport photograph your international passport your admission letter your accommodation contract your criminal certificate and your medical certificate plus their translation your bank statement physically stamped your atm card for the bank statement carrying your name a photocopy and the original card if you are using a sponsor, your sponsor's bank statement and your sponsorship letter which you have translated to the Czech language is also needed. That's what you need. Now, when you submit all of this, it will be taken in for checking. Your ATM card will be returned to you. Then you go for your biometrics in another room. When you do your biometrics, then after the consular is ready to see you, you'll be asked to come into the um, interview or room. So whatever you say here is typed and afterwards at the end of the interview the form will be brought out for you to sign um the interview process typed in czech language of course <laughs> will be brought out and you sign and it will be sent with a document to the ministry of interior now the first question usually you will get is to introduce yourself here you state your full name as stated on your international passport your age why you are at the embassy and that's just it the second question you will be asked is if you're single or married and if you have kids and sometimes it doesn't go in an order but i will just try to say the questions as i remember them from my experience and from the experience of other people you will be asked if you are employed so you need to know the name of your employer and the address of your company where it is located in some cases you might be asked what do you do you can just you know you are an intern but when you are filling your application form Please do not ever feel unemployed there. Look for something to do that tallies with the course you are going for or that just states that you are employed and you are earning money. You will also be asked the name of your university and the address of your university. Please know your university address, where it is located and the ad like how to spell it. In some cases, you might spell out of choice if the consular cannot hear you coherently. But in most cases, or in some cases also the consular gives you a piece of paper to spell please this is really important so know the address and know how to spell it you'll be asked where will you be staying when you get to Czech Republic it means that do you have an accommodation or you are going there to sleep on the street <laughs> so also again know your accommodation address and how to spell it in other cases the consular might ask you have you been talking to somebody from Czech Republic from your university what's who is the person here yeah, you need to know your coordinator's name he or she that have been the person who have been reaching out to you via email to tell you you got your admission to or nominate you for student mode to discuss your progress with that's your coordinator you must know the person now this very one is important because i know someone personally who missed out on getting a visa approval because of this know your courses sometimes you might be asked to list some courses but sometimes the consular nods ahead and tell you to go ahead meaning keep mentioning keep mentioning until she's tired on or until she's satisfied so in most cases you might exhaust your first semester courses so which is why you need to know your first semester courses and second semester and even in some cases the second year if your program is a two-year course you have to mention it if she's so satisfied like he or she is satisfied that you are 
you know your course and you know what you are going to do in Czech Republic. Now, uh, it's important that you don't mention first semester for second semester. If she asks you what courses will you be doing in your first year, mention the first semester and second semester. If she asks you what courses do you, mention a few courses. You can then maybe mention randomly. But I do always say mention according to maybe first semester and second semester. She will also ask you what requirement do you need to fulfill to successfully um, graduate from this program or to be successful in the completion of your program. This means that you will have a required ECT. It's just like a credit unit. In Europe, they use the ECT. You know that every year is 60 ECT. So which means if you are going for a two-year course or a bachelor's three years or PhD four years, you multiply 60 by the number of, by the duration of the program. So 60 times four or times three or times two. You mentioned that, that you need to successfully um, uh, complete 120 ECT for a two-year course. Do your master's thesis, defend it, and, you know, satisfy all criteria, and then that's when you'll be awarded the Master of Science in So So and So program. Please, another thing to note is know the names of some of your professors and lecturers taking some certain course. In some cases, you might be asked to mention the person taking the course or the course and the person taking it. Just know the names of a few of your lecturers. You will also be asked who is sponsoring you or how do you intend to sponsor yourself in Czech Republic. If you are a self-funded student, just say you are self-funded. So don't go there and say, I will be going to Czech Republic, I will find a job. So you just have to say you are sponsoring yourself, but you have a sponsor also to guarantee that you will not run out of funds. In some cases, she or she, the consular, will ask you, why do you want to study in Czech Republic? Here you have to know facts about Czech Republic. For instance, Czech Republic is part of the top 10 in the safest country in the world. Czech Republic is safe. Your, your safety as a student and as a resident is guaranteed. It's, it's, um, it's accepting to foreigners. Um, also, another thing is Czech Republic has very good educational system at affordable tuition rates. Mention all of this, like hype the country, hype it. And sometimes the consumer will still ask you, why did you choose that course? Why did you choose that school? Please don't say because the course is cheap or because the school is, is cheap. Just find a way to, you know, say good things about the school. Oh, this university is one of the top, um, renowned university in Czech Republic, good educational system. The professors are really nice because I've reached out to them during my interview. Just say something sensible and something logical and nice about the university. So no fact about the university. Oh, this university is located in one of the most sought after student destinations. Say something good. And you'll be asked, why can't you do this course in your home country? It's up to you to say whatever because you know that they, they also know that Nigeria, if they're in Nigeria or in your home country, your university, there are universities in your country, you have an educational system, so why are you leaving it for Czech? What makes Czech special? And sometimes the consumer will ask you, why are you not doing that same course in another European or in another country or another university? You also have to say that there are so many universities in Europe and in Czech Republic, but you chose this school particularly, and you chose this course particularly because of so, so, so and so reasons. Think before you talk, because whatever you say is being typed down on the system and it's going to con it, it, that's what is impacting your visa application at this point along with every other document you have brought Sometimes you will be asked what are your intentions when you get to Czech Republic? You can just say your intention is to go there to study to learn the techniques and the skills and the knowledge necessary for that program So you can come back and implement it. This also leads me to the next question What do you intend to do with this degree or sometimes like in my case? What is the benefit of this degree to you? You have to state why you're doing the master's. What benefit does that program have for you? And what benefit do you think you can use it for when you come back to your home country? Next question. What do you intend to do after your program? Do not say you are planning to stay back in Czech Republic and get married or find a job. You can say that the, the important thing is coming back to your home country to contribute your quota by using the skills you, you, you got from the program. In your home country never say that you are not returning never say that that impacts negatively it means that you are absconding and you just want to become a nuisance in Czech Republic even though they know that they give a nine months for study visa but don't say that you don't plan to return so the next question he or she might also ask you is sometimes they might just say um, after your first year what do you need to do in your second year please still the same thing your courses your professor what you need to do and lastly, I think they would also ask you if um, the university you have applied to is aware you're coming. And sometimes this is because um, you 
some students get visa appointment late so sometimes the university might have told you that you can't come anymore in this case trust me you have the visa will not be approved because once the university tells them that you can't come anymore it means that your enrollment has passed so make sure that whatever you do if your admission letter was for february and you couldn't get an appointment and your school gave it to september make sure you go with a different admission letter and your coordinator knows or agrees that you can resume any other time you'll be asked your resumption date and your enrollment date make sure you know that you need to know the year the start date and the end date of your academic year where you are supposed to be there to enroll and if your university allows you to enroll late please do not mix up any of these details because it is very very important and if you are not going to be allowed to enroll and your coordinator has told you that you can't enroll after so so and so date just keep praying the embassy gives you your visa on time else once the visa does not come out before the enrollment date and or the enrollment date has passed and your coordinator is contacted and she says you can't he or she says you can't come again because the enrollment has passed trust me the Czech embassy will not give you the visa no matter what you have to reapply for another course or for the same course all over again above all please hold god tight if you are a muslim a christian i don't know if you're a traditional worshiper whatever just Keep praying to God every day and just tell God because this Czech Republic embassy visa, um, the questions can throw you off sometimes and the visa is not, does not follow any logical process. Some person who is resuming in February might not even get a visa even when he or she goes in January. Some person resuming in September and who had a visa in, uh, appointment in February might even get the visa in two weeks. Their process follows no logical process. It can come in two months, three months, two months. Just make sure you do your best and leave the rest for God. Don't forget to share to your friends who are also on this journey with you. And lastly, lastly, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.